Hey guys, Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and welcome to Wife Wednesday. Woohoo! <laughs> and a uh, little gameplay for my Minecraft fans this time around. You ready to do this? Yes, I am. Here we go. All right, so every Wife Wednesday, Jackie comes up with the topics. What do you have? Um, my life is boring, part three. You're and I'm not sure how many of these I can do. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you running low? You know, it was it was really hard, and I finally I think I hit this one. So we'll all see. right, here, all right, okay, I'll sit back and let you do your thing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gamer Tag Circus. I am your ringmaster, Mrs. Gamer Tag. In this ring, we have Colin. He will be performing death-defying skills of balance and bouncing. Watch <laughs> him bounce on an exercise ball around the house without handles. See him jump from couch to chairs without nets. In this ring, we have Hope. She will be performing feats of computer gymnastics. Watch her switch between Tumblr and schoolwork, all while claiming her innocence. <laughs> and in the center ring, see Woody's gamer tag. Hear the laugh that launched a thousand other laughs. Be amazed at his hairline and marvel at his skills of hand-to-hand -hand combat against such big names like Joe Lozon and White Boy 7th Street. And all of this is, even if this is not enough, all our performers will have to do this while a herd of dogs run around fighting. We hope you enjoy the show. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part was Hope's computer gymnastics. I, she's so good at that. <laughs> <laughs> she's not fooling anybody. No, she's not. So that's your boring life as told as an exciting story? Yes, it is. <laughs> that's me as the ringmaster of the circus we call our lives. Episode three. Yes, I don't know what I'm gonna do next for the next episode, but it takes a while, so I'm working on it. All right, yeah, she, she she's got them all printed out. I can hear. She's got this her is paper. My paper, yeah, no, no, this I heard, is all me. I heard her downstairs practicing the reading. Did you really? Uh huh. I was like, Joe Lozon, what is she talking about? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought you'd like that. It's hard. It's really hard to do because, like, the first two kind of float easily. This was my third attempt on something, so. We'll see what else I come up with. All right. So what else you got topic-wise? Well, I, we can talk about um, some of my new Minecraft friends. You know, Gintail came and saw me. Oh, Gintail. He said hi to me. He said he, he couldn't hang around because he had to help his mom clean out the garage. Mm. So he's a regular kid. No, he's not. Is he? But is he being good? He said he's being good. He was being good. Okay, he... okay. Everybody gets a second chance. Except you. Except, well, except you too. <laughs> but, but in the Minecraft world, you know, that's we our give motto. People second chance. It usually, usually, like it, it always, it, it started with adultery, right? Like, yes. You know, we'd not hear, us personally. Not us personally, no. But we'd hear like, you know, this person or that person strayed, and it's like, you know, everyone gets a second chance, except you, baby. Where are you in Minecraft? Like, this Candyland. Yeah, this is a map called Candyland. You see, everything is like candy trees uh -huh. and there's giant candy is canes. Is this like a Hunger and... Games Candyland? It is. It's a, it's, it's a custom map for Woodycraft. And um, it's actually my favorite map. I've seen other maps that look more like magnificent. Like yeah. we have one called Futuristic City yeah. and, and another one called Romania. And they look incredible. But Candyland is one of my favorites because of the way it plays. You can find other people. You can like, it's just the right size. The games often go to um, death map. Like if you look on the right, you see how it's like 17 minutes yeah. in the game and 13, almost 14 minutes until death match. Or if you get down to four people, it also goes to deathmatch. And to me, games are a little slow, boring-ish if you have to wait all 15 minutes before deathmatch happens. And okay. in Candyland, usually the people find each other enough that that doesn't happen. Anyway, I'm going on and on about this map, but okay, I really sorry, like it. Because I haven't seen it yet. I've seen a lot of the maps when Colin plays, but I haven't haven't seen it. Uh, but um, so I made some friends, and like I, I mean, you had that shout out for the kid Spencer who apparently has some kind of debilitating pain disease. Oh yeah. And he says that your videos brighten his day, and so he just kind of came on and was working with me building stuff because I have this other kid named Bacon and um, a couple other guys. Uh huh. And then there was the com but the conversation back and forth. There was another kid who was like got I think it's got mad skills. And he wanted to shout out. And I'm like, no, you can't have one. Mm -hmm. But he was trying to talk to this kid, Spencer, and find out, like, what do you do for it? And then there was just a ton of support. Like, the, you're oh in the creative God. server, right? Yeah, I'm on the creative server. Oh. <laughs> I am the mom of the creative server. <laughs> but there was a ton of support between each other and just a nice kind of back and forth. And it was it's it's nice when they all pull together. Like, if I say tell someone happy birthday, they all do it. And it's it, on that, the creative 
it is awesome because they yeah that's the creative mindset like uh, if you go to the creative server if, if you guys aren't minecraft fans on creative everyone's like working together common effort married. build stuff I even really hey who wants to get married at the chapel i'm like okay not <laughs> me i'm already married if you go to factions where i spend a lot of time people are like scamming each other trying to get in-game and real life money from one another they're killing each other constantly like the, well i did have the downside like someone griefed the pyramid that me and yes me i know and that was really upsetting because they worked so hard on that and then someone just totally lavaed it and destroyed it and so we're starting from scratch again and i don't even know what they i haven't been back uh -huh. to see what they made while i was gone because they're they're really good at what they do <laughs> so you know it's just definitely a different mindset yeah it's a, yeah it's fun I mean, and i have i like both of them sometimes we go to like survival which is also like a happy thing and no one's trying to kill you and everybody's nice and people who are ruthless to me in some game modes are nice to me in survival well it's funny because <laughs> i have all these people telling me start your own youtube channel do your own live stream now, if you would show up standing next to me, they would all leave me <laughs> and go straight to you. <laughs> they only love you. No, they love you too. There's Team Jackie all over here. They're watching right now. There are. Some people's like, what happened? Some kid said, what happened to last week's wife Wednesday? And Hope had a cross country meet. I wasn't yeah. fired. I'm sure every, all my fans thought they were fired. <laughs> you didn't fire me. You're on thin ice, kid. I was working <laughs> as a mom. so Driving around. Yes. All right, next topic, next topic. Okay, so Hope is doing cross-country, mm -hmm. and she can't be there every night because she also does fencing. So to make up for that, we will run around the neighborhood. I am a terrible runner. <laughs> Can you keep up with Hope? It depends. Like, when she first starts out, she's going really strong, and then she kind of gets tired out. I think she... She's a sprinter. She's still not pacing herself properly. She's a thousand times better. Yeah, I remember I ran with her early on. And yeah, she literally would like run full speed the first block. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. Now she, she really does pace herself and she's kind of getting the hang of it. Mm -hmm. um, but I had Jack and he makes us run faster. Jack is our Great Dane dog. And I honestly, I mean, I wasn't that winded. I don't, I didn't have roller skates on. I was running with the dog. Mm-hmm. But we were going pretty fast. You know who's not winded? Jack. No, he's not. It's ridiculous. Our, so he's a Great Dane. He's big. It's like taking your horse for a run. The dog just like, yeah. sometimes I'm running and he's walking. <laughs> and it's like, you son of a bitch. I'm not going that slow. He's but, done it where like in the beginning, he will look behind us and be like, really? Come on, keep up, ladies. <laughs> yeah. Step it up, girls. Towards the end, he's a little bit like... Cause yeah. We'll stop. We'll we'll run for three minutes and then walk fast. Walk for five and kind of building up our stamina. Did Did you know that humans are some of the best running animals on that there are? No, Mister Wizard. Yeah, that. no, it's true. When it comes to long distance running, people, I think, are the number one animal. Someone out there is probably going to correct me and tell me that like the freaking it's the cheetah Ethiopian. No, 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 not the cheetah. cheetah. <laughs> they don't run very long. But, like some Ethiopian aardvark can outrun us over distance, but um. Yeah, I, as far as I know, humans are the number one. Like, no other animals can run 23 and a half miles straight like a human can. You know, that's a marathon, 23 and a half. Oh, is it? Um, or 23.3, something well, like Hope that. Hope did the three miles, the 5K, mm -hmm. the three miles, right? Mm -hmm. It's about three Yesterday, miles. Yesterday, um, in the same place where we met some of your fans, we were in Wendell at that park. We got lost. Your daughter and you both are terrible with directions. So bad. Oh, my gosh. I wish it wasn't true. But, but it, it is. Like, she's reading it from the phone. Uh-huh. And she tells me, turn left, and it's right. <laughs> and I'm like, you sure we're supposed to go? Wait, Hope, I'm looking at it, and I know school's that way. Can I give a survival games pro tip right here? Sure. So you heard early mouse gets the worm, right? Early mouse gets the worm? Or early bird gets the worm? <laughs> Just listen. Second mouse gets the cheese. That's the thing. I let these guys fight each other, hurt each other, and then I got the easy win. Okay. Early Pro bird tip. gets the worm. Second mouse gets the cheese. Okay, okay. Second <laughs> mouse does get the cheese now that I think about it. But he's got to step over the dead bodies of the other mice. Yep. If you like the video, click on like, subscribe in the top right-hand corner. Two videos you may have missed. Mail Monday, Rapist, Mom Says Solo... Mom saw solo sex, sex tape? That's what happened. Okay. Poor guy. Wait. His girlfriend asked for the tape, and his mom saw it. If tape is an outdated term. It was a okay. video, but yeah. Bad grades. I'm still stuck on that other one. Like, why <laughs> would you leave that around? Dude, the, I thought the rapist letter was the most, like, 
It was a heart-wrenching one. I'm sure it was, but... Okay, and buying a new house. I actually didn't see you like walk through the woods and see what you saw. You're in that video. A little bit, but a, not that a much. A little bit, yeah. Wow, look at you walking around. You like it? <laughs> I do. It's a neat video effect, I think. So, anyway. I hope you like the video. Bye. Bye.